Yale's apartment? <laughs> I told you, I'm on your side. Go ahead, search the place. I'll wait down here. When you're done, maybe you'll change your mind and share your findings with me. Or not. It's your call, Mr. Blacksad. I'll make sure you're suitably compensated. Wilson, come here. I'm not sure how Yale's love of pickles will help me crack the case, but it's good to know. A woman's fragrance. Almost angelical. century French fables. There must be one boring old lady. The worst thing about O'Leary's boys dropping by isn't the beating, but the fact that I can't tell what's theirs and what's Yale's. Can't say this is the ideal drink for an athlete. Then again, it could be your classic bookie thug lunch. Judging by the general state of the apartment, they were leading a quiet life. Seems like Bobby inherited something more than boxing skills from his father. Besides the tendency to vanish into thin air, of course. So, you like your mob stories, don't you, Bobby? Why would you want such a big closet for so few clothes? Unless someone emptied it recently. Copy one of three. Do you know any of his relatives? Is his father ever, ever, Avenarius? Avenarius? The boxer poet? Didn't he disappear 20 years ago?
gun punched a paint can. But why? Wasn't he calm and composed? Recently, but why? What does Sweet Mary have to do with Yale, the murder suspect? When I left, I told O'Leary I hadn't found a thing. The minute I was alone, I left for Mary's. But before all that, I took a small parting gift for her. I've never trusted angels. Mr. Black's hat? What a... Surprise. When they fall, they turn into demons. Joey told me he was going to spend the afternoon painting the gym and that Bobby would be fixing something up on the roof. So, after I found the body and called the police, I went to Bobby's place, but he wasn't there. So you knew that Yale was with Dunn when he died, and yet you told no one? I guess I just forgot. Everything is so confusing. I'm sorry, Mr. Blacksad. Don't be. I'm here to figure it all out. Do you realize you might be protecting a murderer? What? I'm not protecting anybody. Okay. I think it's time to set things straight. I know you were cheating on Dunn with Yale. Or was it the other way around? No! How can you even think of something like that? How can you convince me otherwise? I found a picture at Yale's apartment. It's you and him on a roller coaster. Care to explain, Miss Purnell? I'm not white, Mr. Black said. What? Seven of my great-grandparents were white. The eighth was black. According to law, I'm a black citizen, even if my skin says the contrary. Do you know what that means when you're born in North Arlington, Alabama? Segregated restrooms, with far worse stalls for colored people. We even have different water fountains, for God's sake. The separate but equal doctrine and all that. That baloney. And all the lies. That's why I moved here. No one knows what color my great-grandparents were. I'm black too. And I don't hide it. Well, at least you're a man. In any case, what's that have to do with Bobby Yale? He's my nephew, Mr. Black said. Joe and I first started taking care of poor Bobby when my sister died. That was when he was almost 15. The three of us went on that trip to Luna Park. So this is where Joe Dunn comes in. Bobby was the only one who knew about me and Joey. We were afraid that someone would use my past to ruin his career. It's not the first time I hear that story. I'm sorry I accused you so lightly. Don't worry, I understand.
Mary smells like... Actually, the whole room smells like a pie fresh out of the oven, so I can't identify any other fragrances. TV and radio all in one. Where will these mad times lead us? Fresh out of the oven. The whole room smells like pie. About Sonia Dunn and the ring, I managed to hide the truth from her. I appreciate it, but at the same time... What? No, nothing. Maybe... maybe she has a right to know. Your secret is safe with me. I'd like to believe you. Are you sure you don't know where your nephew is? I've looked everywhere. He's nowhere to be found. Don't worry. I'll find him. Thank you. That cherry pie smells so good. I'm starting to get hungry. Thanks. I pulled it out of the oven right before you arrived. Oh, where are my manners? I'm the worst hostess in the world. Let me go get a knife from the kitchen. And you must be thirsty. Uh, let me see, OJ, coffee? Water's good, thanks. She's wearing the same clothes in both pictures, so she's probably telling the truth. Sorry, I was going to help you with that. Now that there's almost no pie left, the scent has also disappeared. Interesting. Now Mary smells like a huge dog. Mary, when are you going to stop lying? I know your nephew is here. I can smell him. What? No. I already told you I don't know where he is. Look, I understand why you're protecting him but it's in his best interest to end this hide-and-seek. You can search the whole house if you want. Go ahead. He's not here. Wait a minute. She's not the one who smells like that.
That's where Bobby Yale's scent is coming from. So, that's why you were sitting there. What? I don't know what you're talking about. Yes, you do. Could you step aside so I can check, please? Uh, please go. Mary, for Christ's sake, put that knife down, would you? Leave or I'll... Mary, please, calm down. I mean it. I don't want to hurt you. Leave her alone! Bobby! Do as I say. Go on, call an ambulance. Do it now. In the face of a heart attack, there's two things you can't forget. One, stay calm. Two, one chest compression per second. One Mississippi. <gasps> two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Four Mississippi. Five Mississippi. Six Mississippi. Bobby. Oh, Bobby. Thank you, Bobby. Bobby. Thank you. I had lots of reasons to consider this a great day. I had investigated a suicide case. I had discovered that, in truth, we were dealing with a murder. I had found and captured the prime suspect. And I had saved a life. And yet, everything in me screamed that something was going wrong. Terribly wrong. Promise me, Promise you won't take the law into your own hands. I'd like to think we're not just vigilantes. I want a gun! What the hell? Bang, bang, bang! A fair amount of violence, extortion, and casualty. I hate detectives. That you, Smirnov? You seem agitated. Nightmare? 
<sighs> yeah, I have a lot of those. Yeah, that makes two of us. Anyway, why don't you go home? In his current condition, Yale's not going anywhere. Besides, we'll take it from here. Who is that? Can we trust him? I know how to pick my men, John. You? I'm not so sure. I asked you not to get involved, or at least give me a heads up. Bobby Yale attacked me. I had to do something. If you had warned me, maybe we could have avoided his assault. Anyway, what's done, is done. When, when exactly did you realize that he killed Dunn? Out of sheer curiosity, I'm a cop after all. When I saw his picture with Mary at Luna Park, I just knew something was off. How about the motive? Any ideas? I know Dunn wanted to call the fight off after something Yale did, but I still don't know what. In any case, hopefully Yale will tell us more. Would you let me ask him some questions when he wakes up? I know you will, with or without my permission. So, I'd rather not feel betrayed. In exchange, drop by the station when you can. Your investigation could really help my men. Who, by the way, must be waiting for me to interrogate Mary Purnell. Boy, she was hard to pry from Yale's side. Don't go too soft on her. That girl's quite the liar. Will do. Thanks for the advice. And as for you, go get some rest. God knows you need it. I will. Thanks for the advice. Tell the nurses to look at that face of yours. You look like a film detective in his last scene. I'm afraid this film isn't over yet. For your sake. I hope you're wrong. You're in charge now, officer. Okay. I'll send you relief in six hours. Understood? Doctor. Who are... Oh, detective. Congratulations. You fared pretty well against that kid. Better than most would have. <laughs> now, if you'll excuse me... Let's just say I got lucky. We, as a society, simply don't trust reptiles. But that's not the real problem. The real problem is our extended belief that there's logic to that distrust, that it's natural and well-founded. How's Yale? Is he awake? Oh yeah, go check on him before he falls asleep again. Although, try not to bother him with too many questions. Will this have long-term effects on his health? Um, it's too soon to tell. He did have a heart attack after all. <laughs>